today we are finishing up the front of the bunk and we're doing something different. You can see the excavators up here. We did this many years ago once, mainly to fix the bunk, but this time we're actually up here packing the sidewalls with it. And Ferdy is doing the second round and we're using the excavator because we want to keep them steep. That way we can have more flat surface on top for the sand. But they're just not packed if we keep them steep because we do send the tractor down a little bit, but then it rounds it and we don't want that because then you take like two feet away and it's on each side two feet. So you got four feet off the top, which is a lot. So it's just not how we want it. And with the excavator, you can keep it nice and steep because you're not rounding the top corner. And I already was down there checking how it was looking and it's actually pretty hard.
chopping. Andreas asked to get some pole chopping video uh, footage. So we're going to do some of that. It's about 100 acres in this field. And we'll probably get done about 60 acres today. So it'll be a pretty good day. We got five trucks running. We had six, but I was making smaller loads because they were just waiting so bad, so much. Yeah, Tyler, you're good. We already had to go move the excavator with the trailer. And now he's getting some sand, so we got down to five, and that's not too bad in this field. We're about a mile away from the field, from the bunk. So Alex is trying to, Brody's getting a load of sand. Alex just took this trailer truck. I'm not a big fan of it, but he's gonna have to drive it for a little while until he comes back. Probably got another hour or so of chop today. We're gonna cover some of the bunk, the beginning of it. We've got probably another 20 minutes in this field. The rest is a little green, I'll show you it after. The rest of the corner looks a little nice. It was shorter than normal. Should be about two feet taller, but it is what it is. Now we're going back down the opposite side. It was sun playing right in there, so you couldn't have seen anything. I normally take seven rows. My head don't have the auto steer to chop, but I go tiny bit, little bit faster, seven rolls, but you don't ever miss anything. Always does a clean job. You don't have to look and be so precise if you use seven rolls. Maybe someday if you have the auto steer. And the... Do you miss your truck yet? Yeah. You want to slow down just a little bit. You're about almost that's better she has a cdl a we both got it together i don't know maybe seven years ago for the fun of it pretty much since you don't ever use it but you never know the box still does need cdl i know some states do Alex, slow down, okay? Yachty, that's better. Some states need them. We don't quite yet. We'll see how much longer. Hopefully for a long time, because it's hard to find drivers, and it'll be definitely a lot harder to find a driver with a CDL. We'll see. Comes in Gerhard. Next hauler. And I gotta say thanks for the comments. I try to stay myself. I'm not gonna pretend anything. So if I'm pissed, I'm gonna let it know. That is me. Not that you think I'm somebody else on camera, because I'm not. Whatever I show, whatever I show, that's who I am. That's for sure. This is what we did today. Maybe you can see it. I left that 
that strip so when I come back I can just start a chop straight down from there again so it'll be easier and yeah, next on next field put this field up a couple days ago we're just gonna go back and chop for a little while long until we cover the bunk for today it's about a half a mile away from the barn so it's not too bad part of the bunk we always cover the first half right away get to where we want it and then we cover it that way it uh can ferment and it rots a little less first stuff's coming up we got a nice flat top first stuff's grabbing some sand i'm gonna jump up there once uh he gets that first bucket on there After. We're getting some drone footage. I got Kyle running my camera for the first time. I'm gonna go bring tires up with the little MX and hopefully this works out. I've never shown drone footage of us covering monks, so we got Kyle here to do that for me. He's concentrating. Ferdy here using the excavator. 
He's doing this big slope. He's literally just throwing big tractor tires there. It goes the fastest um, instead of using little tires. It's so steep right there because there's no bank that little tires just fall on top of each other. So we use, we learned using the excavator is the best. Sweet. Yeah, Hart's down there. He's pulling that one up and then this. Yeah, how's the pack sidewall with the excavator? What? No mold. No mold he has to shovel, that's what he's saying. I doubt it. We'll have raccoon damage. Unless Stan can kill them all, right? <laughs> hey, we've taken care of plenty this summer. The numbers are low. Well, there, there's a lower population of raccoons this year. <laughs> but this will help too. You can tell where it hasn't been done. It's a lot fluffier. Can't be worse, that's for sure. More bad. Yeah, the top we're never worried about, but uh, try to improve here too. Good enough for my house. They're all done. I got the last bucket. I even got, oh, I, forgot, I should put it in four-wheel drive. The old ball tires aren't climbing in two-wheel drive. We're all done for today. We're the video. That is it for today. I don't know what's in this because I think a little bit of everybody recorded, so. Till the next one.